why the prostate is an evil organ. For men who are interested in having children, obviously the, the prostate is essential as it delivers a lot of the fluid in the ejaculate that's responsible for being able to, to get a woman pregnant. But once you are no longer interested in having children, the prostate does not do anything helpful at all. It just causes issues with urination and it can also get cancer, which can be a major problem for a lot of men. And most men I found really don't know what the prostate is or where it is. And so I'll show you that here in this model of a male pelvis at the front here, this big red sphere is the bladder. And if we were to take the bladder out and open it, we'd see here the prostate at the bottom. And the urine has to go through the center of the bladder or the urethra to get through the prostate on its way to the penis where it comes out. And so as the prostate grows, it can push on the urethra, making it more difficult for the urine to get out. And then the prostate also has a tendency to get prostate cancer in about one in six American men, which can be a very difficult problem. So why don't we just cut it out in everybody? The problem is that's in a very difficult location to, to get to and it's next to a lot of vital structures. So you can imagine if you cut out the prostate surgically, which is called a prostatectomy, you then have to stitch the bladder neck or this bottom part of the bladder to the urethra. And when you make that connection, it often leads to what's called urinary incontinence, which means that people will leak urine when they cough or sneeze. And this can be improved with Kegel exercises, which strengthen the pelvic floor muscles, which is sort of your second sphincter to help provide continence. But in reconstructing the bladder neck to the urethra, you sort of lose this natural sphincter mechanism that you're, that you're born with and can lead to long-term urinary incontinence. Also not shown here, but the nerves that run on the side of the prostate are the nerves that provide the signal to the penis to get an erection at the appropriate time. And as you can imagine, those nerves are often injured during a, a prostatectomy. And the blood vessels to the uh, penis can also be affected, but less so. It's mainly a nerve issue. Interestingly, the nerves that provide the sensation to the penis do not run through the prostate. So prostatectomy does not cause any sort of numbing of the penis. Those nerves run through a separate canal deep in the, in the pelvic floor. So if you do have any sort of, of prostate problems, you need to see a urologist to talk about all the options and all of them, whether they're medication or surgery, have potential risks and side effects because of the location of the evil prostate.